Hi, it's Graham again from Spectrum Eye Care. We've had numerous requests to include the ETDRS charts into the Spectrum program, but at the same time, we've had as many as to what are the ETDRS charts and how and why are they different from the charts that we presently use. To answer these questions, I need to give you some background, so just bear with me for a moment. The ETDRS, which is an abbreviation for Early Treatment Diabetic Retinopathy Study was formulated in the early 1980s and was primarily for ophthalmologists to evaluate the effectiveness of both argon laser photocoagulation and aspirin therapy in delaying or preventing the progression of early diabetic retinopathy uh, to more severe stages of visual loss and eventually blindness. Secondly, it was to help determine the best time to initiate photocoagulation treatment in diabetic retinopathy. And thirdly, it was to monitor closely the effects of diabetes and of photocoagulation on visual function. And fourth and finally, to produce a database that could be used to identify risk factors. Because this was such a vast study, there were over 3,700 patients involved and many clinicians were enlisted to conduct the tests. So there had to be very tight standards and the charts they used to assess the VA are the ones we are presenting today exactly as they were used for that study. Although the study was completed in 1985, these charts are still regarded as the gold standard when doing any research where measuring accurate VA is indicated. When using these charts, the standard method of measuring the VA was accepted as the LOGMA method and for that reason the charts have the LOGMA notation displayed on the right hand side as a default. There can be some confusion regarding the LOGMA method of scoring but I'll cover this a little later. It's actually pretty easy. So let's have a look what this looks like and how these tests are done. Select VA from the top toolbar and then ETDRS from the lower toolbar. The Spectrum ETDRS chart R will be displayed as the default. We have included all the ETDRS charts so you can select chart R, chart 1 or chart 2. The additional chart 1 and chart 2 can be used to avoid patient letter memorization while still maintaining a standard degree of difficulty between the charts. Coincidentally, since our very first Spectrum 1, all the Spectrum letter sets have maintained the same degree of difficulty regardless of how many times the charts are randomized. So, you'll notice that the distance between the lines and the letters is fixed to be consistent with the original ETDRS standard. All the language functions as well as the wheelchair option you'll see on the right here are still available to you and as with all Spectrum charts, the ETDRS chart is naturally calibrated to the exact patient viewing distance. If you are doing any research, it's also essential to specify which chart was used when quoting VA values. In other words, chart R, chart 1 or chart 2. That is fairly straightforward. Your patient would read down the charts until they start missing letters as with any VA assessment. But now, let's have a look how we would do the scoring. 612 would be this line over here and the patient would have got say two letters wrong. With Logmar we're interested in the letters they get wrong. So the score for the 612 line would be 0.3 if they got all the letters right but they got two wrong. So now we simply add 0.02 for every letter they get wrong. So this would give you a final score of 0.34. You'll notice that the score increases as the vision gets worse. So 0.3 is better than 0.34. If they missed 3 on this line, then it would have been 0.36. Missing 4 would have been 0.38. And missing all the letters would have taken you up to the 0.4, which effectively is the 615 line as we understand it. Here's another one. Let's assume the best VA will say 619 plus 1. It will make better sense if you think of this, firstly, on which did the patient get anything. 
So they got one on the 615 line. So start rather by thinking in terms of 615 minus 4 rather than 619 plus 1. So now it's easy. Our base score is 0 0.4 and we add 0 0.02 for every letter missed which in this case is 4. So the final score here would be 0 0.48 which is almost 0 0.5 and that effectively would have left you with the 619 line. I hope this makes sense. It's easier to understand while looking at the VA screen and using the blue line to underline the line where the patient got any letters right. Even just one and then score that line and just add the 0.02 for every wrong letter. I hope this helps. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to check our website for other great tests at spectrumikesoftware.com. Thanks for watching. More next time. Until then, stay connected via the LinkedIn community.